is going on my friends welcome back to the channel welcome back to the moto vlog and welcome to another motorcycle discussion with uh me myself my motorcycle and uh and uh, i so i got a lot of comments on um a recent video i posted on life and risk and riding um i'll go ahead and uh, link it below but pretty much on if riding is dangerous or if life itself is kind of risky. So I wanted to follow up uh, on that video and break it down just a bit further. So I feel like people always talk or like to talk about how uh, dangerous motorcycles are without actually saying how dangerous they really are by calling them things like donor cycles, uh, which can make you feel a little bit better about driving a freaking a Volvos, uh, nothing against Volvos, but you know what I'm trying to say. But um, that doesn't really mean anything to the average non-statistically inclined human. So I decided to do some research and crunch the numbers, but um, basically, looking at vehicle statistics from light vehicle driver deaths to find out how many people died in car crashes and then uh, pretty much did the same for motorcycles and found that the ratio is about 3.4 to 1 um, which seems kind of sad uh, to talk about uh, this th sort of thing um, on such a gorgeous day but anyways the numbers don't lie for every 3.4 uh, people who die driving a car one motorcycle rider dies riding a bike uh, but this really doesn't tell us the full story does it you also have to look at uh, the number of registered vehicles on the roads and the average number of miles driven by car or by motorcycle which if you do the math you'll get about 75 to 1 um, as the ratio of miles driven by light vehicles versus motorcycles or in other words for every one mile uh, driven on a motorcycle there are about 75 driven in a light vehicle and I think light vehicles are anything like under 6,000 pounds. So then you have to apply logic. Without assuming that they are equally as dangerous, would you think that the ratio of 3.4 um, to 1 would apply? But it doesn't because they're not equally as dangerous. They're actually off by a ratio of about 25, meaning motorcycle riders are 25 times more likely to reach the termination of their immortal time on Earth while riding than people are while driving a car because for every 100 million uh, motorcycle miles driven on the road you see about 25.67 deaths versus every 100 million vehicle uh, miles driven you see less than one which uh, kind of sucks anyways the thing is that there are people out there who ride all the time daily commuting on bikes and have been for years and um, are still here to tell the story so i did some more digging because their number must be lower than that average number um, so how do they get there according to a forbes report and i'll uh, i'll link that in the description below as well i think it was about 35 or 36 percent of all motorcycle accidents involved riders who did not have a license to actually ride a motorcycle so if you've been safely riding with your permit or your license you can officially drop your number of 3.4 there then um, if you keep digging you'll find that I think about 27 ish uh, percent of motorcycle deaths involved alcohol so if you ride sober and believe it or not I always ride sober contrary to popular belief um, you can go ahead and drop you there or your uh, your number there but um also if you look at speed um, as a contributing factor something like 33 or 34 percent of motorcycle deaths i think it was um, involved excessive speed so if you keep it reasonable uh, you can go ahead and uh, drop your factor there as well then i kept digging and found that about 46 i think it was uh, percent of motorcycle deaths fall off about um yeah 46 percent um if you have completed motorcycle training courses um learning the basics of how to turn and all that other good stuff um which counts for uh, something i'm sure and then we can talk about the safety stats of the actual back itself instead of the rider skills um and going back to volvo as the pinnacle of automotive safety um but anyways people always love to talk about the safety benefits of cars but never really have bikes for instance abs um, you're 37% less likely to be killed on a motorcycle or in a motorcycle accident if you ride um, a bike that has ABS. And um, you, got, you actually got to keep it on. Um, no, it doesn't do any good if you turn it off. You know what I'm saying? We talk about uh, motorcycle gear or at yeah, all the gear all the time. Um, for all you living in Florida or Illinois or the uh, other uh, no safety states who don't ride 
with helmets this one applies to you so if you gear up when you ride uh, with protective layers full face helmets uh, that have mips or the like then you can decrease your uh, risk factor even more i mean i believe i saw that the helmet um, or just wearing a helmet will decrease your chances of a fatality in a motorcycle accident by something like 37.8 or 37.9 percent but anyways 3.4 kind of sucks um, it sucks that uh, we're that much more likely to get gown in an accident um, but it's 3.4 percent for the average motorcyclist and here's the thing y'all you don't have to be the average motorcyclist so there's that anyways guys girls moms dads brothers sisters aunts uncles you know my friends um ride your ride and uh if you enjoyed this video um or have questions comments concerns or uh, want to join the uh, trolls in the comments please be my guest and i'll catch y'all in the next one cheers